What's up, YouTube? Happy Saturday. Got this 2012 Volkswagen Tiguan. We're showing you how to replace the front pads and rotors today. You're probably wondering why the wheel's still on, because normally I have the wheel already off. Because these wheels are a little different. It's a German car and these little annoying caps. So I'm going to take the wheel off doing this video. So anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's do this. Okay, sometimes there'll be a little tool in the trunk. If you want to look, a little hook tool to pull these out with. But most of the time I can never find them. So I just take a little hook pick. We'll work them out. Some of these come with wheel locks on them from the factory. This one don't have them on there. So you will have to look in the trunk if you're looking for a wheel lock, unless the customer gives it to you, if that hardly ever happens. Got them off flawlessly. Now we're gonna take our 17 millimeter, get this wheel off. Now the last one, take off just enough if the wheel don't move or get stuck on there. But if the wheel does get stuck on there because of corrosion, just keep a lug nut started a few turns and hammer on the back of the um, rim, preferably with a hammer that's not too harsh. Take the wheel off. Now I'm rotating these tires for the customer, so we're going to lay this one back here. Alright, now we can proceed with the brakes. Get our little spring out of the way. Use a flathead screwdriver for that as well. Now, let's turn our wheel all the way out. Get better access to the bolts on the back. I'm going to show you how to reset this piston without any special pulls. Before you pull this caliper off, grab your little flathead action. Little corner right here. Start working the piston back. I'm holding the wheel because it's trying to turn on me when I'm doing that. So once you get it pushed back a good bit, you should be able to bite it on this. In the middle right here. Just keep working it back until it won't go no more. Boom. Now we got a wear sensor on here we're gonna have to unplug. And you gotta love Volkswagen in their stupid freaking plug design. So what I do is I take a little flathead screwdriver right here. Pull up on that tab in there. Just like this. See that? All right, now pop your little dust caps off. If you can't get them off with your fingers, the same thing with this little guy. One at the bottom. All right. Now, seven millimeter Allen head. I'm gonna show you another option. is a T45. T45 fits well too. It's just basically like a, like a 12 point socket. I'm going to show you that it works. Let's go ahead and flip that the other way. I'm putting it back together. Now, you're going to want to take your slides, just work them out. You don't have to take them all the way out, just work them back a little bit so you can get the caliper out of your way. I'm going to put this bad boy over here and just let it rest right here. Pop your old pad out. Take your thumb, push in on that spring, and pop it right in. The outer pad we'll put on after we change this rotor. 
Now you're going to have to have a 21 millimeter, whatever 21 millimeter you have available to you. Wrench. And these are pretty tight, so you're going to want something pretty long, like a breaker bar. Alright, now we're going to take the hold down bolt off, which is the T30. Wherever I put that, I'm all over the place today. Nothing new. And if your rotor don't come off as easy as that one did, just smack it a few good times. But make sure you, uh, if you take this all the way out, just start your lug nut a couple turns like that, then hit the rotor. Trust me, you don't want that falling in your foot. <laughs> that's happened to me early in my career. I never, never forgot. Trust me, that's a feeling you'll never forget and you'll never do again. So that's why I'm here to warn you. procedure nice and tight and if you're all about torquing I'd say 150 is probably good on that and then our sensors are here now, I don't know how y'all, some people put a little grease on the back of these shims. I, I've learned over the years that it doesn't really matter. Like, I've never had one make noise or anything like that because I didn't do it. It's on you, man. Sometimes they'll give you a little pack of it in the box. Not always, but let's slide, get back. All right, now we grab our little seven, or whatever I used before was a C45, I think. I had both of them over here. Okay. Now, what size was that? I think I told y'all in the video already, T45. Snug it down. Dust caps. The plug. So you hear the magic click. Now the spring. Pay attention. Stick the bottom in first. Get that started a little bit in the hole. Just like that, y'all. Turn your wheel out. Put your wheel back on. I'm not going to do all that on the video. You're lucky I should have got to take it off. Because of these stupid caps and stuff. I figured I owed that to y'all. Anyways, I hope y'all like this video. As always, y'all check like. Y'all have a good day. Please subscribe. Peace out, YouTube.